all this. We read the article that is in Friday's lesson, and it says, Interferences erroneously draw from facts observed in nature have, however, led to supposed conflict between science and revelation. And in the effort to restore harmony, interpretations of scriptures have been adopted that undermine and destroy the force of the word of God. Geology has been thought to contradict the literal interpretation of the mosaic record of the creation. Millions of years, it is claimed, were required for evolution of the earth from chaos, and into that you have order. Do you understand the complexities of evolution? That would be like taking a very fine Swiss watch, taking it all apart, all the different pieces that you have, and then you throw it into your washing machine, and you set your washing machine on 570 million years, and you come back at the end of 570 million years, you open the washer, and behold, you got a $50,000 Swiss watch perfectly put together. That's the chances of evolution working. But there's another reason that you have to understand that Satan is so involved with this, and that evolution, do you, you realize that People didn't understand evolution prior to 1844. Because it was in 1844 in September that Charles Darwin released a longhand of his original writings called The Origin of Species. Longhand. It wasn't, that was just the original form. September of 1844. How did that happen all of a sudden like that? Well, it's pretty easy to understand. Because Daniel 8.14 tells us that Unto 2,300 days the sanctuary shall be cleansed. And the devil knew that his time frame was almost up. He had just till October 22nd, till Christ moved from the holy to the most holy place, he had to get something going. So he inspires Charles Darwin, write this, that you came from a monkey. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, when I go to the zoo, it's not a family reunion. For Charles Darwin, perhaps it was. But you see, Satan knew his time period was nearly coming to an end. And he had to come up with an alter alternative because that alternative had to be able to take people's eyes off of the fact that God is the creator of heaven and earth. He is the creator who created the earth in six literal days. He had to take their eyes off the fact that God is not only the creator of heaven and earth in six literal days, but he is also their redeemer. Satan had only so much time. And in that time period, he has to deceive as many people as possible that there is no creator. You came out of a monkey. You came out of these forms. And this is exactly what the Bible is trying to say to us. Mrs. White concludes this in Education, page 128. It says, such a conclusion is wholly uncalled for. The Bible record is in harmony with itself and with the teaching of nature. Throughout the Bible you will find it says this, it says this. You will find science saying these other things. But I refer you back to Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, how much light is in there? Zero. There is no light in them. Because what we are called for, the Genesis account, is not just about creation. It is also about grace. It is about the beginning of the human race. It is about God coming up a way to redeem man from the bowels of sin. All throughout this week's lesson, we find many things that point us to a loving creator who is trying to bring us back to his original image, the image of Christ. As you meet with people and as you talk with them, 